Hi, in the session today, we'll be talking about the FI25 guide that was released by Microsoft. So, uh, as you know, Microsoft releases a guide for every fiscal year uh, with announcements and, you know, updates that it has for this coming fiscal year. So, in this particular webinar, we'll be talking about uh, four to five different topics like solutions, partner designations, gold, silver competencies, Microsoft action packs and partner benefit packages and also limited co-pilot uh, seats. So, uh, yes, uh, my name is Mehvish Amar Sheikh and I'm the Partner Development Manager at Alif. Alif is a Microsoft service distributor and it helps partners across the globe with their technology and partner reliance requirements. So, yes, we have today with us our guest speaker, Ms. Eva Leovic. Ms. Eva Leovic is working with Microsoft partners and she's an extremely talented professional who's working with Microsoft for the past three years. She's basically working in the Central and Southeastern European region. She's leading the Microsoft's distribution uh, channel in uh, this region, and she's basically working for Turkey and the Adriatic region. During her tenure, she has got the opportunity to work with different types of Microsoft partners like the system integrators, technos, distributors, and Microsoft solution providers. So yes, Eva, uh, it is lovely to have you here. And, uh, Yes, thank you for giving us your time and she will be guiding the partners through the, through the different topics and the different announcements that were made in the Microsoft FI25. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so basically I'm Eva, Partner Development Manager, currently serving distributors in, across Southeast Europe, focusing on Turkey um, and the portion of the Adriatic uh, region as well, uh, which is, for those who don't know, uh, Adriatic means um, Croatia, Serbia, Slovenia, and Bulgaria. Um, and uh, as you said, for the past three years, um, I have been working in the Global Partner Solution Organization, uh, helping you know our partners, uh, you know, develop solutions, um, you know, implement some go-to-market strategies, and then eventually um, uh, serve uh, the customers and making sure that they grow their business. That's uh, a little bit about me. Great. Thank you, Ms. Eva. So today we'll be talking about all the questions, you know, and that uh, updates that Microsoft has released. So we have Ms. Eva, she's working under Microsoft and I don't think so there would be a better person who would, you know, address to the queries that we have today. We have a few a few questions for you, Ms. Eva. And uh, if I would start with my first question, as we see that the major announcement that was made in the FI25 is Microsoft is discontinuing with its action packs and also the gold and silver legacy benefits. OK, so what do you think this would how will this impact its partners? So let's just take a step back and, and repeat what actually happened in in August and also take back and, and, and think about why it happened. So um, in August 6th, um, on 10 a.m. PST time, uh, we announced that uh, Microsoft Action Pack, Microsoft Learning Pack, um, and Legacy Silver and Gold uh, benefits will no longer uh, be available uh, after January 21st. Uh, what does that mean? So um, if you're a partner that currently has one of these uh, benefits, uh, you will be able to purchase or renew um, those benefits on January 21st and uh, January 21st included. Um, after that, um, basically, uh, you will have an option to choose um, one of the uh, already uh, launched uh, packages that we launched in January, uh, which is uh, Partner Lunch, Partner Success Core Benefits, Partner Su uh, Success Expanded Benefits, or uh, buying that and working towards the solution desig partner designation and the specialization. Um, mm -hmm. That's the first announcement that uh, happened. The second announcement is that uh, we, as Microsoft, invested heavily uh, to in those uh, benefits to you know make uh, those benefits suitable for all sizes um, of the business and for uh, all types of the businesses. Um, therefore, um, also due to needs and how the, the, the world evolved, we have uh, put more than 20 new um, uh, new solutions um, uh, and software licenses into uh, those benefits. Uh, right. These are some of the major, um, like, let's say, two key changes that happened in August. But if we take a step back before is 
that uh, we need to talk about the evolution of the Microsoft partner uh, programs. So before, from 2009, we already had the Microsoft partner network and that stayed uh, until like two years ago uh, for almost two decades. Uh, that was like uh, the core uh, uh, partner program for, for our partners. And that was okay in the past when uh, we had, I, I like to call it like a one house for the partners when we welcomed all the partners to uh, our program. It was a great tool for them, you know, to um, uh, grow their uh, uh, business and, and partnership with Microsoft. But as the world started to evolve and the technology started to evolve, I mean, and grow, uh, which is uh, related to, you know, um, AI uh, specifically with, with security, um, we needed to make some adjustments uh, to that. Uh, that means that, um, we, in 2022, uh, evolved the program from the partner, uh, Microsoft Partner Network, to the Microsoft AI Cloud Partner Program. And that's something that um, is crucial to understand because uh, now, with that change, uh, what we actually did is we now do not have that just one um, house for for everyone, but we have like more different houses or serving the different type of partners um, and different type of um, uh, sizes of the businesses, uh, which means that, you know, uh, before we had mostly the MPN was related to, uh, you know, micro uh, services partners, but now not only we have the services partners, we have uh, mixed reality um, uh, partners. Now we have OEM uh, partners. Now we have a, uh, Surface partners. Um, now we have an ISV partners. So we have a, a plethora of different types of businesses now, uh, and we needed to tailor our benefits and our programs to those businesses. Uh, and this is answering the question why uh, this change um, uh, happened. And all right, and great. So yes, Eva, I can echo you on that one. Right now, Microsoft has a lot of, you know, it has, it, it is very streamlined. When we go to the portal also, there are different type of, you know, sections that are there for ISVs, for, you know, service-led partners. Then you have a separate section for the resellers. Then you have a separate section for, you know, the surface partners. So for the hardware partners. So yes, I can, I can uh, truly, you know, echo you on that one. So that's great. And uh, a streamlined process was needed and indeed it is there. Uh, so, uh, correct. When we talk about uh, this, like uh, you see that the action pack is moving on now. Uh, many partners or new partners, they, you know, opt for the action packs or the training services partners, they opt for the learning action packs. So what do you think, uh, you know, coming uh, to the partner benefit packages, how can the partner benefit packages fill a void for that? And how can partners avail the partner benefit packages uh, and who are, are there in the Microsoft action packs right now? How can you know they transition themselves into partner benefit packages? Yeah, sure. So if you already have currently have Microsoft Action Pack, Microsoft Learning uh, Action Pack, and then uh, Legacy Silver or Gold, we do have some recommendations uh, for those partners uh, for a transition. The easiest way would be uh, for those who have Microsoft Action Pack or Learning Action Pack, we recommend. Uh, to go to uh, to purchase partner success core benefits um, or partner success expanded benefits based on your um, needs, basically. Mm -hmm. um, if you are um, a partner with a, a legacy silver uh, benefits, then we recommend to um, take on the partner success expanded benefits, which gives you then. Um, an expanded portfolio of the of the software uh, software licenses, uh, more um, you know um, unlimited advisory uh, support and in in enhanced support. Um, therefore, that can help you uh, work on serving your customers, but also focus on attaining uh, uh, the specific solution designation that you're focusing on. Um, for the legacy gold partners, we are definitely um, recommending to uh, work on attaining um, solution uh, partner designation of the one that they have want to specialize, but also if they need additional help um, and additional resources, uh, they can purchase anytime any of the benefits, any of the three benefits uh, previously uh, mentioned, which is uh, partner um, launch benefits, 
partner success core benefits or partner success expanded benefits. That's the recommendation. Of course, that you know, transition is never that smooth, like that easily. But um, some of the um, recommendations and how to start that transition would be, you know, first you need to familiarize yourself with all the benefits that Microsoft is offering. So uh, what the partner launch benefits are providing, what is inside a partner success core, what is in the partner success, uh, success expanded, and also solution designation and specialization. Um, so familiarize yourself uh, with the benefits. After that, you need to assess your current status of the benefits. So if you have currently um, Action Pack, a Microsoft Action Pack, or um, a Microsoft Legacy Silver or Legacy Gold uh, benefits, utilize them. Please utilize them. Please, um, you know, um, make it, make sure that you use those benefits that you already purchased. Um, and eventually, if you need um, additional uh, benefits, you could purchase one of the uh, three uh, uh, benefits that we have launched or and expanded. Um, after that, I mean, it, when in the, when you enter the partner center, uh, you have a really uh, comprehensive overview of all the solution designations and how to uh, attain those uh, 70 points that you need to attain a specific solution designation. But th this is requiring a, a great planning session where you will sit down and see, okay, so um, I would focus on the closest um, uh, solution designation. Um, I mean by that, uh, the solution designation where you have uh, the most points. So that's the first. Uh, then second, uh, you need to reevaluate uh, those three uh, pillars, how we are measuring uh, basically the, the partner solution designation, which is um, the performance, which is that new customer. Um, then we have uh, the skilling, uh, of course, the certified employees who are uh, certified within your company. And then the third is the customer success, or uh, I mean by that deployments uh, for the customers. Uh, that's then uh, three pillars that you need to review where you are and what are you missing. So which points are you missing? After that, um, basically, um, I would create a plan on the skilling. Um, I would create a plan on the new customers, of course, how to how to reach those points and reach 70 points to attain the part of solution designation. If you need additional help, um, I know that now we have for um, in the partner center also the score simulator where you can kind of uh, uh, simulate the, um, the scoring and see how can easily it will really help it, it helps you creating like a path uh, to reach the 70 points and then um, you know if you're a managed partner um, you can uh, contact your PDM for further help um, we also now have concierge which which help us uh, you know um, for those specific special cases to help our partners um, and also for the for those who are indirect resellers I always recommend to you know reach out to your distributor uh, they are equipped with uh, also resources um, that can help you and they will definitely uh, be able to guide you uh, um, to to you know uh, more easily and, and smoothly go to the, through this uh, process of attaining uh, the solution uh, partner um, designation. Mm. I think it's also very important to continuously review those points because that can be they can increase and get lower uh, over time. So the monitoring is extremely important um, of, of those um, points. And, um, and yeah, uh, basically, I think uh, that's how I would um uh what i would focus like the the key steps that i would focus on uh if i'm a partner yeah that's that's it that was indeed a detailed uh you know answer uh eva we were uh, basically expecting this and you know there's going to help the partners a lot uh because this is a challenge sometimes uh even the partners that we have this is the challenge that they are facing so uh just to reiterate on what eva said suppose uh, she said that you watch to the points uh, or the solutions designations that you can very closely attain 
to just give you an example here uh, talking about from the partner's perspective if you feel that you've done a lot of deployments under m365 you've done or you've done migrations for azure check the solutions designation that you fall under okay so uh, if it is like you've done a lot of migrations for azure or if you've done for uh, a workloads under the modern work so check what work have you done in each and every solutions partner designations what workloads have you worked for if you feel that is something which you've done or catered to in the past 12 months then what you can do is when you switch on to spds you will see that your points are increasing under the performance section if you're adding new customers in the past 12 months now for skilling you need to have the, it is divided under two sections as eva said you know the intermediate and the advanced sections you need to have skilled resources microsoft resources under your ecosystem all right so basically first uh, when we are talking about the legacy benefits it was only related to you know selling licenses but now microsoft you people have made it a little uh, tougher i can say partners have to focus on adding new customers partners have to focus on you know they having skilled resources under their ecosystem they also have to to focus on customer success so under the immediate and advanced certifications alif is an uh, uh, the company that we are working in like we provide you with the certifications okay certifications as as in we train your resources and you know we help them get certified and we help your organization associate the intermediate and advanced certifications by training your uh, resources so that is where alif comes into picture when you talk about the customer success that is the third pillar of spd uh, you might be seeing partners might be seeing that they have certain points under usage and deployment usage growth and deployment now why that happens is because you have the customers which are not in the 12 months tenure but your previous customers or existing customers who are using m365 workloads or you know the licenses that you've given them so they are using continuously that is the reason your customer success points are increasing but you've not added any customer your points for performance are not going to increase and you need to have minimum one point under each box right eva, uh, eva. so uh, that is uh, right. that is important uh, yeah that is important and alif will help you with the alliances side as well and as eva said microsoft is there um if you have dedicated pdms with you uh, you know reach out to them you have concierge support that she said uh, you can reach out to them all right and uh, she also discussed also, about the... yes also if if i can just add um two things that i have experienced with my with my partners is that um first sometimes customers um are not associated with the partner center so please make sure that all your customers are registered in a partner okay. center. And when you open those insights, you will be able to see which customers are linked and kind of a measured with mm -hmm. your performance. Okay. And the second thing is that um, sometimes you have a lot of skilled employees and they do the certifications, but their learning profile is not associated with your partner center okay. profile. So make yeah. sure that you associate those profiles um, to for, for those certifications, for those people who have done those certifications um, to be counting and, and, and receive additional points uh, for mm -hmm. those. Very and correct, Eva. I can I can, you know, vouch with you with you on this one because we have had so many partners they have given the licenses but those customers are not associated and they are facing a challenge now uh, because they have to reach out to their distributors again these are indirect uh, you know sellers so they they have to reach out to their direct resellers they have to reach out to their distributors they again have to reach out to their customers and you know then it's a you know trust building relationship where they are reaching out to them again and then associating those customers again into with their partner center so that process uh, Partners have to take care of that because they are serving the customers, they are giving the licenses, but the customers are not associated. And you cannot see your net new points, you know, for performance will not be uh, added there then. So as Eva said, that is a very important point because working with, I feel out of 10 partners, four or five have not done that uh, for the journey. I'm working for alliances right now. I have seen a very common issue. And then sometimes your customers are not mapped. Sometimes you are uh, associating them in your partner center, but they're not mapped under your SPTs. So that is something where we can help you, where Microsoft can help you, where Alif can help you. But associating the customers is solely the job of the partners. If you're not doing that, then you'll have to take uh, you know the charge for that. Okay. Thank you so much, Leva. That was, I think this is going to help the partners a lot. Uh, talking about uh, the next question. Okay. Uh, the uh, VC 
that my partner benefit packages that has come uh, do you feel it is better than action packs and what new opportunities have been added in you know the partner benefit packages we see that there were 20 new uh, technologies and services that were added to those so can you tell a little about that and um so uh, yeah let's let's talk about those um core partner launch benefits partner success core benefits and partner success um expanded um benefits so um first i think it's a great uh thing that you can immediately go and purchase um those benefits um you go to your partner center um you can you just need to go to uh through the wedding which is the our way of you know that your business kind of approved that your business is legitimate legitimate and um and um after that you can um access those benefits um i will not say if it's like better or not i think it's just more evolved and it it's better because in in terms of like uh it, it gives you access to those um uh, most innovative you know um uh, software licenses and it's just tailored to you know the um uh, evolution of um of the technology um when we were like structuring those those benefits, uh, you could realize that those are focusing on like premium software licenses, which includes the copilot empowerment, so copilot licenses, um, security enhancement, so security um, um, uh, products, and then also the um, what we were doing, we were unbundling the teams as of the um, April um, announcement happened. Um, and also access to the more secure, uh, to the more uh, premium features, uh, such as like uh, Power BI, Visual Studio, um, okay. and uh, and a GitHub. So these are some of the the key changes in the terms of the um, the uh, products, uh, product benefits. Um, but when we talk and in, in a comparison with the uh, Microsoft Partner Network, um, you will realize that now we have um, so product benefits. We have advisory um, advisory benefits, um, support benefits, and marketing benefits, and and basically uh, these are tailored in terms of like launch uh, success score benefits and uh, success expanded um, with like with the stage of where you are. So if you are completely new partner, new Microsoft, Microsoft partner, of course that the recommendation mm -hmm. is to take a partner launch benefit, but if you know, if you are in a stage where, okay, I'm new or I, I'm somewhere, um, you know, I still want to explore or I want to create a couple of offers, um, then the partner large, uh, partner success core benefit would be a, a, a great um, uh, tool for you, a great package for you because um, it gives you some hours of the advisory, it gives you access to the more of, of 20 um Mm -hmm. uh software licenses uh you get uh, access to the support so uh, to uh, to focus on you know uh to decrease that operational um uh, side of the business and focus on your customers um so so basically um that would be for 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 the core benefit and for the expanded as you evolve and as your business evolve then you purchase the partner success expanded benefits uh which gives you access to the more software licenses um uh, it gives you unlimited uh, advisory um uh, hours uh it gives you access to the enhanced support so you have better support um and um and also uh, let's not forget that uh th those marketing benefits which helps you uh you know prepare your offerings uh, and, and, and market them uh, to um, to your customers. I recommend is that you you really um, kind of a measure where you are in that stage of the journey um, and choose what's the best you know for your needs. but let's not forget that you can have each one of them. So you are able to purchase, all three benefits uh, partner launch benefits partner success core benefits and the partner success expanded benefits um whatever suits your needs also let's not forget about isvs so they have also um isv success uh which those partners who develop a software and already have 
they, they must be engaged uh, uh, um, with the software development and also with with um, uh, with creating a B two B solutions. They have uh, one year for free. So first year of partners, uh, um, ISV success is uh, is free. Uh, that's for the core ISV success, and then uh, you also have the ISV success expanded, which gives you more uh, benefits as as your business uh, grow. Um, also, let's not forget about the you know what uh, partners uh, ask uh, a lot. That's first the Asia credits. So of course that in in the in the partner success core benefits you have Asia credits to kind of attest um, the uh, your your offering and your solution and then um, in in the partner success expanded benefits you have an Asia credits that can help you for example for some customer um, fo to focus on more um, like uh, complex kind of uh, deals with the with the customers. Let's not forget that you can combine so partner lunch benefits, partner success core benefits, and the partner success expanded benefits with the ISV uh, success. Um, so those partners who develop a software can combine um, uh, those benefits uh, and, and purchase them uh, kind of one each uh, for the for the full year. Um, also, it's very important that with those benefits, you have access um, to uh, incentives, which is extremely important. Um, mm -hmm. And I forgot to mention that um, in the beginning, but um, those who renew uh, their um, Microsoft Action Pack, Learning Action Pack, or Legacy Silver um, and Gold, um, they will be able still and they will receive the incentives until September 2025. That's uh, really, really important to know that they uh, we will not discontinue or uh, whatever the, the incentives, we will uh, still provide them uh, with incentives, uh, Microsoft commercial incentives uh, access. Okay, and, uh, what, uh, what, ne what next? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what uh, can you mention me just because I had in my mind, but I had, I said a lot. Um, it was about the partner lunch success core benefits and expanded. Um, what else? Um, you spoke about ISV benefits as well and ISV packages yeah. as well. I think uh, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Eva, uh, we'll be talking. The next question will be about uh, limited copilot internal use rights. Okay. I think uh, let's discuss the the co-pilot and now the introduction of that. I think that's a, that's a, a good one. Uh, thank you, Eva. That was uh, indeed very helpful. Uh, it, talking about the partner benefit packages, you know, the opportunities that you're getting with that is helpful. And also, uh, thank you for sharing the information that, you know, legacy gold and silver incentives will be continued till September. That is a good news for uh, the legacy uh, partners. But partners, you need to kind of, you know, pull up your socks and check where you fit into the solutions partner designation. Uh, because I think, Eva, you can correct me on this one. I think after January 25, that is January 22, 2025, partners will not be able to renew their gold and silver legacy competencies also they'll not be able to purchase a microsoft action plan right and correct that's correct so starting january 22nd onwards um 2025 partners will not be able um uh, to purchase or renew uh microsoft action pack learning action pack and legacy silver or gold benefits um also very important to to know is that um if you have both silver and gold benefits um you can um before january 22nd uh, you're able to renew just one of those if if you wish to do it you can do it only silver or only legacy gold uh, benefits um it will not be able to renew uh both legacy silver and gold uh that's that's indeed uh, you know a very helpful piece of information uh, eva Okay. Uh, so Eva, coming to a very trending topic, uh, I can say right now is Microsoft's Copilot. People are getting, you know, over it and they're loving it. So Copilot is there everywhere. I feel for literally every service and product that Microsoft has launched, it is giving a Copilot with that. You have Copilot for Partner Center also uh, now. So uh, it is also helping me in my daily uh, usage also. I'm using Copilot a lot. 
So I have seen that Azure was the one product that was growing at a tremendous pace when it came to you know Microsoft products. But right now I see uh, Microsoft's data and AI and Copilot is surpassing the usage of Azure and the growth rate of Azure. Uh, what can you tell about this? Like, how is Copilot? Uh, what are your thoughts on Copilot and you know the AI that Microsoft is launching? So um, the Microsoft um, M365 Copilot was released the, back in last year in November. Uh, for the enterprise customers, um, and and already then, you know, with one of my partners, I, I you know, sit down and and we started to think, you know, um, and prepare uh, for uh, what's coming, and and we knew that eventually um, it will come uh, uh, availability for the um, small and medium size uh, businesses as well, mm. and then. Uh, as I said, in November we started to plan um, and and uh, uh, brainstorm how how we will uh, position uh, uh, the M365 Copilot uh, to the SMBs, and um, what we were kind of missing and 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 what Microsoft listened, uh, you know, uh, a feedback from the partners uh, was, you know, that partners had to purchase. Uh, M365 Copilot, uh, kind of for their own usage, uh, for you know, um, learning, uh, testing for their um, customer conversations, um, etc. And and then, of course, that you know nothing can happen over time, and and Microsoft is continuously listening uh, to the partners and customers, and 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 you know we we hear you, um, and therefore. Uh, we now provide uh, in a partner success expanded benefits, um, uh, also co-pilot licenses. Uh, now the co-pilot licenses are also available um, in solution designation um, and also in uh, specialization uh, benefits. Um, therefore, um, I think that the impact of, uh, you know, I won't say internal use rights because now we are calling it product benefit, but the impact of the product benefit that Copilot is now part of the products um, kind of like injected um, into um, solution uh, uh, solution partner designation and the specialization and also part of the uh, partner success expanded benefits um, is really uh, changing a lot uh, how partners will kind of uh, work, um, and I will explain um, uh, why. Um, first, just and take a look from the different perspectives, like two different perspectives. First is like the operation or perspective, which is um, you cannot give the access to all the employees. So you will need to kind of uh, uh, sit down and see uh, who will have the access, who will kind of... Uh, um, um, work with the, with the co-pilot um, uh, if you will assign it to the certain group, if you will um, uh, use it only you know for the customer. So from the operational point of view, uh, because those seats are still very limited, uh, um, you you will need to kind of a tailor um, and plan um, how and to who you will give access. Uh, of the M365 Copilot. Um, that's the first thing. Then for the second thing, uh, from the operational perspective, is the training. So for those employees who you give access, um, you need to make sure that they uh, you know, work in the M365 Copilot, that they train themselves in the M365 Copilot, um, not only for them to be able, you know, for the, not only, for example, for the sales teams to be able to do it for the customers, but like also to become a champions inside a company and teach others. So make sure to uh, become a champ and um, uh, go there and, and teach other employees and, and uh, you know, uh, spread uh, 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 the word about m Copilot and Copilot um, and, and use cases uh, uh, of, of, of the usage of the m Copilot Copilot to, to all other um, employees. Uh, as I said, 
you will need to do it eventually because you still have a limited number of seats and you won't be able to give uh, um, industrial co-pilot to all uh, um, employees in the company. Um, then let's take a look from the customer engagement point of view, which is um, definitely you will be able now to um, show a co-pilot, M365 co-pilot um, to the customers. Uh, you will now be able to uh, do a, a demo to them. Uh, you will be able to personalize experience for them, especially for those customers that already have a uh, M365 co-pilot. So maybe they want a personalization um, and they want a, a tailored um, uh, uh, demo uh, kind of, I mean, solution of the M365 Copilot. Um, therefore, uh, that is extremely helping uh, partners uh, in, in those customer engagements and conversations. Um, and ultimately, what you can do is um, you can do a pilot. You know, you can choose a certain amount of customers, um, specific customers, um, and, um, and provide uh, uh, M365, M365 co-pilot, uh, uh, like a piloting the, the co-pilot, uh, which means uh, they will be able to kind of attest it and then provide you feedback. Uh, you could collect the testimonials. Um, you could create a case studies, which will help you further for your next um, uh, customer engagements. Um, therefore, um, I really believe that from the customer point of view, customer engagement perspective, uh, it's very valuable. Um, uh, those um, Ember 65 co-pilot and other co-pilot product benefits to be included um, in in those benefits that we would provide. Um, additionally, you what you can do is also uh, mm, do this. Like, okay, I have a limited M365 co-pilot seats or other co-pilot uh, seats. So I'm going to use it only for my premium customers, you know, to provide them exclusive access to um, to the co-pilot. Um, that could be also an option. Uh, but overall, what I would recommend is and align internally to who you will give access. Mm -hmm. um, create kind of a... AI console, like, or co-pilot console, or whatever you want to call it, uh, which will make those des decisions and uh, make that plan on how to utilize uh, the co-pilot seats because they're limited. Um, and, and, of course, use it for the customers in your customer engagements because they will definitely help you um, in uh, winning the deal. And yeah, right. totally agree, totally agree. Ba. So uh, you see that she's explained about, you know, the limited co-pilot internal use rights uh, that was, you know, going, that is that will be applicable from Jan January 2025. So this is how, like, the strategy that she said, I believe all the partners should take an account of that and check, you know, how they can do since the co-pilot usage is limited. And also she explained about the cu customer engagement strategies, right? So yes, uh, you can take an account of that. You can train your uh, employees internally on that one as well. So questions are done. Let me just think. I also wrote something down. So let's see yeah, if I need to yeah. add additionally anything. Key points that you have, conclusion that you have. Uh, and at Microsoft AI Cloud program now offers a comprehensive portfolio of benefits for and all sizes and businesses tailored for all sizes of businesses, that's one. Second, be aware of the changes and um, make sure to work towards attaining the solution designation. Mm -hmm. per purchase, if you need, uh, based on your needs, the packages. And or maybe like this, yeah, work on progress. That's the second, or like uh, attaining the, the solution designation, make a plan. Mm -hmm. Third would be then those uh, benefits like purchase if you need um, based on, on 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 your need and and uh, and and, uh, and desire. I mean, there we got those three types of benefits. That's third, and then for the last kind of a plan properly th those uh, uh, limited co-pilot seats Sorry. and make sure you are utilizing it in uh, in the best possible way. Um, so uh, thank you so much, Eva, for the time that you gave us today. 
uh there was a lot that i learned and i'm sure uh the the people who are watching this and the partners would also learn so uh the webinar that we just uh took eva what do you think are the key points that you can give to the partners uh just to conclude this uh, particular session just to summarize it yeah sure and uh so um dear partners uh you can uh, go now to the partner center and uh, uh access the microsoft ai cloud partner program and choose one of the uh benefits uh, uh of your needs uh which are um partner launch benefits partner success core benefits or partner success um, expand benefits if you're a partner that is developing the software you have access um to the isv success plus all the other benefits that i that i mentioned before so you can purchase um all of them um second make sure to be you know to work um uh, on strategy uh, on your goal uh towards attaining the uh, so partner uh, solution partner designation so that should be the ultimate goal um but help yourself of course with the uh benefits that you can buy um immediately and access um those benefits um that's the second um third would be um you know those benefits that are immediately uh, available to you choose one that basically the best suits your um the size of your business and also the needs of your business be aware that you can purchase all three of them uh, if you think that you you need more uh benefits um also if you're looking immediately access a co-pilot uh, uh uh seats for example uh those benefits you can purchase the uh, partner success expanded benefits which have uh some seats available of the co-pilot um and then uh for the last um i would say um and use co-pilot uh seats limited co-pilot seats uh wisely make sure um to plan how to use to plan who will use those um and uh use them for you know um your customer engagements um and to help uh you know resolve all the problems and issues um of of your customers and 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 you know make them make them happy so uh thank you so much eva uh, for reiterating on the points again uh yeah uh, these points will be taken care of indeed and thank you for your time uh so guys we we managed somebody to bring from uh microsoft itself from somebody from microsoft ecosystem itself uh to help you best with all your questions okay so yeah you can take a look at that and uh, if you have any queries or anything you can reach out to us you can mail us okay you can uh, find our website link below you can visit our website and thank you so much eva thank you for your time and uh it was lovely having a talk with you thank you thanks to you and thank you for having me bye